hey every guys I said hey every every guys <laughs> that was weird I'm so stuffed up again tonight um thank you guys so much I was in uh uh once upon a crime time on uh, Tommy's uh live tonight and when I got done I just looked at my notifications and saw all of you guys oh my god you guys are so amazing Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. Um, hopefully by Monday I can get my <clears throat> my license. We'll get here and I can get the channel back up. And But meanwhile, man, I'm telling you what. You guys are... I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm just... I start crying immediately and I'm just like... I don't want to start crying right now because I want to be able to stop. Plus, it'll make my throat really hot, sore. Uh, it's already sore enough right now, but it's like... I've been coughing a lot, and I just, God, I just can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. The bottom of my heart, really. <clears throat> I'm going to probably cough a little bit through this. But here's a video that I told you guys I was going to put up. And, uh, hold on one second, I got to cough. So, um, XOR666. It's an email address associated with uh, James Curtis Leonard. So uh, I looked up both of them. I looked it up together like it shows it on the email. I looked it up separately, XOR, and then 666. I looked everything up separately and then together and, all, and back, you know, reversed everything. And these are the things that I found. Okay. So, life's question. How many years must I live alone? Solitude resting in a dream state. Stuck in a zone all my own. All of my own, blinded. I cannot see fate. For how long till I meet someone to intertwine with my inner soul? Till then must I blindly run, searching for life's solitary goal? And when I happen to find it, what will be behind it? More goals on the other side. Okay, I'm going to bring you more. That was in February 8th, 2006. <clears throat> Lover is rotten. Lover is rotten and must be disposed. So while she yelled at me, I remained calm and composed because I knew what was coming and it made me quite giddy to know that her life was going to end shitty she kept screaming why wasn't I getting <clears throat> why wasn't I getting sad like I usually did when she usually got mad I just gave her a smile and I told her a story about how a man sometimes gets quite gory she stopped being fierce, and with fear in her eyes, started to scream to my surprise. But this wouldn't do. The neighbors would hear, and because our son was sleeping right near. So I grabbed her throat and held on tight to stop any sound from coming out right. I told her, now, dear, this I won't allow. Our son's sleeping here. You can't wake him now. We're going to the car. We've got business to do. We're not going far but enough to renew, review how you have been acting, dear. It's just not right. I should have been, I should have been packing during our first fight. You constantly scream and yell at me. So I decided this is the end, you see. She begged and she pleaded as I dragged her to the car. That's all she needed was a night at the bar. She had said this before and come home the same, so I found her excuse completely lame. The car started nicely and we drove onto the street and went to a place I'm sure she was dying to meet. I stopped the car and took off, and she took off to run, but I said, don't you see? I will get you, hon. She ran through the trees, dodging left and right. Someone please, she screamed in the night. Somehow this chasing made all the more fun. Kind of like racing, except she dies when we're done. She ran fairly fast and almost was lost. 
but finally stopped running at the ultimate cost. I grabbed a chunk of her hair, tightened my fist. I thought it would tear if I, if I tried to persist. So I swung her up past my face, her waist on my shoulder. I told, I told her of a place where she would grow no older. We got to the river. I took her down to the rocks, made me shiver. To think of her locks floating freely in the current below, unattached to her giant ego. So I took out my knife and cut her blonde hair, tossed it in the river, but saved my own share. I would need it later in case I started to forget how much I hate her and her worst asset. I chose a big rock and I raised, raised it up high. She called me a cock with fear in her eye. I told her, don't worry, our son will be good. Back home, I will hurry out of this wood. It will be fine, just him and me. He'll grow up kind, just wait, you'll see. Or maybe he won't, I'm not sure how it is. After you're dead, but you'll find out, Liz. I brought the big stone down on her face, felt it hit bone and bounce back in its space. But bloody, big bloody dent, but it felt so good. To finally vent. I knew that I should do it again just one more time. Then I would be done. And now we would climb. I told her that would be fun. But then she would stay six feet down under. She would peacefully lay in rain and through thunder. As far as I know, to this day she rests under the soft moss, moss with her maggot guests. <coughs> Crumbling chest, chesty, blood smears from lips t to tears, luscious kisses, submissive soul, playful heart, tearing innocence apart. Searing cherries, whimpers will cease, virgin lips receiving delectable sin, pain thrusting in, consummated destruction. Carmine aflame, passionately played game. Sensuously awakened, orgasmic matru maturation, unprecedented titillation, commencing life anew. Oh my god, sick. I cannot think of a fit title for this poem, February 10th, 2006. I don't know if I can get through this. Maternal destruction. Betrayed. Innocent soul, illicit perversion. What is taken must be replaced. Woefully apologize for the filth. Conceived all my condolences. Mother, you hurt me so. Trust, circumcised, betrayed. I decided to write with choice. Number four, Richtometer. It was kind of a forced write. Couldn't find the particular inspiration I was searching for. Written. February 9th, 2006. Perfect in my mind. Conceptualizing your beautiful soul. Enamored in my mind. Anything more perfect than this, I am destined to never find. I wish more than anything, I could forget the pain. Pretend you were still perfect. My conscience tries in vain. Language is inadequate. False memories are conveyed. Everything I want to say spoken with a tainted shade. Emotions demanding precedence over logic and reason. This is to myself new and ultimately treason. I don't find this, that this is anywhere near any standards, but it captures my feeling even though it has quite a few weak points. Written February 8, 2026. I mean 2006. Reflections. If I got old and gray today, would I say the time just rots away? That life is just a painful past, and nothing happens, nothing happy ever lasts? Would I say if I could go back again, I'd make the entire world my friend? If I got old and gray today, would my life have gone my way? Would I be the one who weeps as death upon me slowly creeps? Or would I have lost my mind somewhere amongst the widow's ride. Same. 
February 8th, 2006. Expectations. At this point in my life, I cannot bear to look at the future. Each moment I spend cringing, knowing that every second brings me closer, closer to graduation, closer to the real world, and closer to death. All of this I am not sure I can handle. Can I stand another day where I fail tests and ultimately humiliate myself again and again in front of my critical peers? Thoughts of suicide come more frequently, push into my mind by the constant threat of failure. Inside I am screaming, if I cannot keep up now, how, how will I be acceptable later? Sometimes I think it's okay, not everyone has to succeed. Then I feel better, feel like I can go on. But somehow, they always come back to me, the expectations, and again I plummet down into the dark depths of depression. Every time I dig myself out, but I feel that soon I might just quit, quit everything and disappear. Same, written February 8, 2006. <laughs> so this isn't the exact one I was looking for you guys but I'm going to find it because this one is new to me I just now found this one I wasn't expecting this one so I'm going to find the other one I was looking for in the first place so I'll be right back okay so this is the actual website that the email was linked to and it was uh, the XOR one. And uh, so the Asexual Visibility and Educational Education ne Network. And a sexual person is a person who does not experience sexual attraction. So there were several emails that this person, uh, this email address, wrote to people on this site. Which, I mean, it's a very welcoming site, and I think that's really good that they have this site. Because, um, because it's, uh, important. I mean, not everybody feels the same way, you know? And, I don't know, let me read a little bit here. Welcome to the Asexual Visibility and Education Network. Avon hosts the world's largest online asexual community, as well as a large archive of resources on asexuality. It strives to create open, honest discussion about sexuality or asexuality amongst, among sexual and asexual people alike. So, one thing it it's kind of bothers me is I really, I don't want to like out anybody, you know what I mean? If this is how they feel. But I also feel that this person that's attached to this email has got uh, links to this crime, in my opinion. Um, first of all, they're in the same area where the law enforcement was looking. They were across the street from these alleged people, these two guys that were cleaning this red car with paper towels and bleach the next day or that morning of, and then left and never came back. And, uh, this person also, this person with his email also had all these cuts on his arms when they found him after he was, after he beat his wife up. He had previously um, committed involuntary manslaughter is what they call it, but he only got, uh, uh, he, he never had jail time. They never gave him any jail time for that. Found that very strange. Uh even though it was a felony, obviously, you know, he killed somebody. He shot him three times. So, I'm going to link this so you guys can read it. I don't want to go through it. For for one thing, I'm so stuffed up tonight that I can't even hardly breathe, much less read. I mean, it's like I'm breathing through my mouth right now because I cannot breathe through my nose. My face is just so stuffed up in there. Uh, so, I am still going to try to find... Uh, his uh, his inquiries through this place. Once he found he he found this website with his and so his email is linked to it. And what his email is talking about is um, not being able, not knowing um, who he likes. Like you know, not knowing 
uh, not feeling anything, right? And he talks about being in Idaho, northern Idaho. Like, he literally links being in northern Idaho, which I found interesting as well. And also, I think he says he was a mechanic, which, so is this guy. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things that actually connect the email to this. And it wasn't, and here's the thing that made it even more real, is it wasn't a, a um, uh, a recent it was so it was, it was a few years ago and so it wasn't like it was like you know made up right you know after the after the idaho four stuff happened this happened a while ago and it was in this forum that he wrote so like i said i'm still gonna try to find it i don't know where i put it in my phone i know it's here somewhere but as it was a long time ago because i, I held on to it because i didn't know what to do with it i didn't know if i wanted to even bring it up but as things are starting to, you know, there's a few things I just am worried about. And that is all the police reports and all the things that are the Moscow, you know, daily logs that are happening and all the things that are going on over there. And also, you know, the, well, the things I've recently posted. So I'm just going to leave it at that because this is really kind of controversial and, and I need to be safe right now, right? So, but I do want it out there, so I'm going to get it out there. Okay, I've got a few more things I need to show you, so hold on. Okay, for, for some reason this looks really familiar, this Avon Arcade. There might be something in here. Um, it's a place to play all of Avon's greatest games. Come here to ban, sue, and count to 30 against your fellow Avon Avonites. Avon, no mafia type and role-playing games are found in... In just for fun. Posts here do not count towards your post your post count. So that's one thing I remember with um with this email and the stuff on it is that they were giving each other uh um, cakes or pies or a slice of pie or something like that. A slice of cake. Oh god. It was what they gave to welcome them to this particular forum. And this forum right here is... Uh, so when I link the initial link in here, um, I'll, at the top of it, there's a little box that says forums. And that's what I clicked on, and that brought me here. Okay, so... Uh, Gotta be great to breathe right now. It so sucks. You know, my grandmother, she had been in like a, this kind of a kitchen fire and it was pretty, not very good. I mean, it, like, it had a lot of, uh, uh, things involved in it, like things that were on fire that were like toxic. And so she ended up with a COPD and she wouldn't, um, take like oxygen or anything like that. She wouldn't do an inhaler. She was, oh, she was just adamant. She was, she was a feisty thing, I'm telling you what. But me, I'm telling you, that not being able to breathe is the worst thing. I mean, it sucks so bad that it just sucks. Anyway, I shouldn't be bitching right now. Because, but man, I'm telling you, I can't breathe, that sucks. <laughs> I got myself a ninth cat. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's... Okay. There's a hamster. I got my braces off. See, I, so I don't know. I'm still, I still have to find that one. I'm going to find that. If it takes me forever to find it, I'm going to find it. Because it really told a lot, you guys. It was like... I mean, it literally described... Ah, something. I, it described something, man. I'm telling you what. Ah. Okay. So another thing is, in that, um, go back here, in the recording where she's talking about her husband who beat her up, she's saying that he's not normally like this, but um, he's been working so much that we haven't been able to go in and get him his antidepressants. 
because he takes his medication, right? Well, Exor is an antidepressant. Anyway, so that's how I found my way here. And with that email, and it just made me just, I don't know, something's just connected and I, I don't even really know how to explain it. But all I know is that I found it. I don't want to hold on to it anymore. I want it away from me. Let someone else take care of it. If they will. I mean, I don't even know if they will. But. I don't know why I get to these places where I do, but. Somehow it just happens. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold again. I'm going to go find this. Dang it, if it takes me forever. Okay. So this is a website called Trevor Project. And this is what pops up. Quick exit. Triple tap anywhere to quickly leave our site. Got it? Yep, got it. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Got it. So they give you this option to out of these sites. Uh... No, I don't know if I can do a... Okay, I find this really interesting. Is that love doesn't equal sex. It's important to remember that asexual asexuality is an umbrella term and exists on a spectrum. Asexual people, also known as ace or aces, which... Isn't that been going around? There's the king, the queens, the jacks, the aces, the blah blah blah, or aces may have little and may have little interest in having sex, even though they desire emotionally intimate relationships with the ace community. There are ways, many ways, people ways for people to identify. Here are just a few common terms: demisexual, people whose only experience who only experience sexual attraction once they form a strong emotional connection with another person. Gray A, people who identify somewhere between sexual and asexual. Queer platonic, people who experience a type of non-romantic relationship where there is an intense emotional connection that goes beyond a traditional friendship. Aces commonly use he hetero, homo, bi, or pan in front of the word romantic to describe how they experience romantic attraction to, for example, a person who is heteroromantic may be attracted to a person of a different sex or gender, but not in a sexual way. So this is one of the things um, that was on in his uh, email was that he uh, um, he didn't have any feeling for who he was with. And from the time that the email was sent, it would have been with the woman that he was with at that point, right? The one that he beat up. If it's actually his email, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't be sure. All I know is that when I did Google searches and I did deep dives on this guy, this is the email am amongst other ones. I mean, I searched many, many of them and there was many emails that were, t were attached to this person. And one thing that made this one stand out to me is that it was also attached to racing, which he is a mechanic and he does racing. Okay. So races cars. So it was also attached to that, which made it seem more real, right? But like I said, I mean, it's hard for me to out people that have these differences in them because it makes me feel like I'm doing something bad. But I also, on the other hand, I also feel like there is some connection with him to the Idaho 4. And I don't know what it is, but it just has always felt that way. And if you guys have followed me, you guys know I've been just hollering this guy's name from the rooftops from day one from day one and anyway i will attach this also still looking for the one i'm trying to find so uh i will make a note of this one and uh, copy the link and save it to put inside the description thanks okay here's another one Rarely do I feel the need to express emotions through poetry, except when I am depressed. Most of the poetry that I will write will be sad, angry, anything but happy, because when I am happy, I am do I am out doing things and do not take time to reflect like I do when I'm not when I am not. 
I suppose that the only reasons for me to publish my work on here is to hope that somebody will may relate to them and that with other people reading my work and critiquing, I will improve my writing. See if there's any comments on these? What's your this one just grosses me out. This one really bothers me. No comments. Which I yeah, I can feel ya. Um darn it, I can't find that dang thing. Okay, you guys. Well, I am going to wrap this one up. I am going to um I'm gonna look into this one. Because look what it says. She mentions that James was accused of killing a neighbor's dog back then, which made me think, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm going to look this up, and I'm going to make a separate video of it. And still look for that one freaking thing that I read, that I read on that one site. Because um, it's super important. Super important. I'm, I'm sure I probably made a video of it back then, but I can't think right now, so. Too much stuff going on, so. Anyway. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much, everybody. I love you, and I um, appreciate you all so much. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, bye.